to outsource or not to outsource? When you think about marketing, you want to have the expert in your corner. It's extremely time consuming to build an effective strategy, one that actually works. If you've tried it before and it didn't work out, chances are you did it wrong. So it's best to leave it to the experts. I had a really enlightening call with Jesse from Canada. He is my go-to SEO guy and Google Ads guy. He's got all the hacks, all the tips, all the tricks, everything up his sleeve to make it as effective as possible. In fact, working with him, I've had a growth of 75% of my monthly leads that come in. So here's what we talked about, whether to outsource or perform in-house, um, and join us on this discussion so you can learn a little bit more about keywords, Google Ads, HubSpot, Pardot, and even WordStream and tools like that. So let me know what you think. And if you ever need a contact for digital marketing or paid search, you know who to ask. See you guys later. Bye. It sounds like it's, it's a very hands-on thing. It's not something that you can just sit and forget. It's something that you have to feed like a puppy, right? And pet and Definitely. <laughs> take care of it every single day. Uh, Definitely. So are you familiar with tools like WordStream or... Uh, yeah, I've yeah. Used, I used the trial version of WordStream. I've never dug into it fully, um, but I do believe in the tool. I think it uh, it just simplifies the process, uh, the algorithms. They point out a ton of things that are valuable. Um, like, you know, just things like it just speeds up the process of optimization, yeah. right? Because the algorithm is going to find things and be like, you know, you should try it this way because of this. And, and from my experience with the trial tools, um, I had a very good experience. Mm -hmm. um, this is a matter of, I think, justifying it based on where the company's at. So if you're a smaller company, it's very hard to do it. And mm -hmm. their model does scale from the size of the company. But um, I think even initially for small companies, it's, it's a hard tool to use because it's less affordable. Yeah. Uh, but what, over time, for sure, it's, it's a good tool. Do you know of any other marketing automation tools that you can use to help you with this instead of just going directly through Google Ads portal? Yeah, so um, WordStream would definitely be the biggest. Um, okay. But AdEspresso is another tool that I've, I've heard of. Okay. Um, you know, I've always been in Google Ads interface itself because um, uh -huh. I'm more technical and I can get in there and, and dig into things. Um, a lot, like, I think WordStream, honestly, is the dominant player when it comes to those tools, though, for sure. They yeah. just, their marketing efforts are great. Like, you know, their sales guys are great, too. They always try to sell me on it. <laughs> uh, they and, throw really good parties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm actually going to one in Chicago at Google's uh, office. Oh, nice. I'm really excited. Yeah, it's going to be next in November. So maybe I'll have some good takeaways from the word stream, Google, Meetup. We'll see. Yeah, for sure. You mentioned a good point, though, Chantel. Um, so there's so many elements of digital marketing. There's so many different elements that are effective when done right. Yeah. Um, and it's almost impossible, especially for small businesses, to do everything because it's so time consuming, like this Google AdWords or Google ads. I'm sorry. It's all good. <laughs> Old dog, new tricks. Yeah. <laughs> um, so do you, is, when you think about outsourcing, when it's time to outsource, when do you make that call? Like what's the, is it, be, if you want to use a certain amount in your ads budget and that can, you know, signify maybe it, it's time to outsource it so that it, it, our dollars go further. Or, you know, because even with social media, it's really hard to do that in-house because it's the engagement that drives the, the engagement, right? So yep. that's super time consuming. So how do you figure out what to prioritize and what to bring in as an outsourced service? Yeah, no, that's a great question. I think um, outsourcing makes sense for a lot of smaller companies, right? Your costs are going to be lower. The issue with outsourcing is there's usually a communication breakdown. So when you outsource, it usually typically goes to India or somewhere like that. And, you know, I think a lot of people underestimate their ability and their knowledge levels because they're incredibly intelligent and they can do a great job. But the communication breakdown is usually the issue. So when you have somebody internally, you can strategize and, you know, do things um, at, at a such different level. So as a company grows, I think that's when you go from outsourcing to bringing some internal. And I've even seen it 
commonly where there's like a hybrid model. So, you know, they have outsourcing initially because they don't have the money to bring somebody in house because it's expensive. And then as they grow through that, they'll bring somebody in house and then they might run a hybrid model or remove the outsourcing, you know, resource in general. Um, so you can do it that way as well. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I'm all for outsourcing, especially when you're trying to figure out where to put your budget dollars, you know, am I going to spend 15 hours this week on looking at keywords in Google ads, or am I going to spend that doing other things like lead nurture, you know? Yep. So it's definitely a good conversation to have within marketing departments.